Question 3, part A. Write these numbers in order of size. Start with the smallest number. Well, the smallest number is going to be 98. It's the only one that's under 100. So if we write that one down, cross it off, we can look at the ones that are left. Now, they've all got three digits, which means they've all got a value in the hundreds column. So if we compare the hundreds column first, we have a 1, 7, 8, and a 3. So it's very quick to put these in order just by looking at the hundreds column. So the next number is 145, then 358, 709, and then 835. Part B. Write these numbers in order of size. Start with the smallest number. Now, if there were no negatives involved here, 1 would be the smallest. But because we're dealing with negatives, we've got a negative 8 here, which is smaller than any of the other values. It's the furthest below 0. So, negative 8 is the smallest, then negative 5, then negative 1. As we get closer to 0, it's getting bigger. After that, we're left with two positive numbers, so then it goes 4 and 7. Part C. Write these numbers in order of size, start with the smallest number. Now this question is worth two marks. The reason for this is that we have to make sure that we can compare each of these fairly. The easiest way to do that is to turn them all into decimals. One quarter is one that you should try and memorize. A quarter, written as a decimal, is 0 0.25. 40 percent. Now we've got 40 hundredths, so we have 0 0.40. 3 quarters is another one to try and memorize. 3 quarters, that's 3 lots of this, so that's 0 0.75. So now we've got everything in decimal format. Now another good idea is to make sure everything has the same number of decimal places. It saves for a lot of confusion later. 0 0.2 only has one decimal place. So to make sure it has the same number of decimal places as everything else, I'm going to put a zero on the end. Same thing with 0.5. So 0.5 in one decimal place, or 0.50. Now you'll get one mark here for showing that you've tried to put them all in the same format. You could have put them all as percentages. That would have been 20%, 75%, 50%, or 25%. As long as they're all in the same format, we can compare them. Your second mark comes from putting them into order. So our smallest value here, if we just compare them with my numbers, is 0 0.20. So 0 0.2 was our smallest. After that, we can now see that 1 quarter is slightly bigger. 0 0.25. So we have 1 quarter is the next one. After that, 40%. 0 0.40 is smaller than the other two. Now it doesn't matter if you use your converted values, but just to be sure, I make sure that we use the actual numbers given in the question. After that, we have 0 0.5, leaving 3 quarters as the largest value on that list. Getting them in the correct order will give you your second mark.